Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the show. This little project is pretty, pretty straightforward. I do want to say, if you will, and I, I hardly ever ask, but maybe that's a downfalling on mine. Please click like and subscribe if you hit the notification bell when I post a new content of some sort. You'll get told that that's coming up if you do the notification bell. If you don't, you can still subscribe, and that'll help me out. And uh, nobody knows whether or not you're seeing it beyond the counts going up. Now, let's go through the intro and be right back. All right, now we got that done. This particular project, what I want to do was go to the end of the road here and add two pipes. One about here in this little triangle between the three posts right there. I keep my head out of the way. Hopefully the camera won't stop. And then another one right about here by the hold it post for, for the gate so that when I open the gate, it stays open. I'll show you another picture here just right to your side here. Now, this is looking out of the garage. I've got it zoomed in a little bit, but if I come over here with my little pointer, you can already see I've got the light pole put in this corner. Now, the idea with the light is, is I want to light up this area where I would pull in off of the road out of traffic, but I also want maybe just a little bit of a spillage down here toward the mailbox for security purposes. I don't want to blind anybody, and that's the reason I didn't point it, go, you know, point the camera out toward traffic. It's actually parallel with traffic and pointed down, so it's really not that bright, and I don't want to be a nuisance. Cars passing by do trip it, and it will light this area momentarily as they go. It may help with a little security if I have any problem with my mailbox. 16 years, the only problem with the mailbox is the mailman putting other people's mail back and forth. So we, we routinely swap out each other's mail in a friendly neighborhood like manner. But now you see this post at this point, that gate is actually long enough to go across the driveway. But 99% of the time over the years I've been here, I actually have it pinned back to the hold it post. Just inside that hold it post right here, I want to put another pole and put a security camera aiming in this general direction to kind of catch the mailbox and of course the driveway. This will also give me a little bit more lead time from the cameras or other places that tell me someone's coming off the driveway. A lot of times I don't get the notification till it passes this old well right here. So that'll give me a little bit more time to see who's coming in, give me a little bit more security at night and that's what the project was. Now, if I come back to the main scene here, now my issue that I have is finding a pole to use. Now, if I, I don't want, I'm gonna run long, so I don't wanna do that, but I will tell you a little bit about pricing. I had looked for a 10 foot antenna mast, which is normally a very stiff, hard steel, a little bit smaller in diameter, but they're 10 foot tall and they work pretty well and they don't hold up a lot of wind resistance. The problem is, Nowadays, you can't hardly find a 10-foot antenna mast. So I had previously bought a inch and a half piece of EMT to hang some, you know, off the edge of the house up there. And if I move my head out of the way, you can see that it's about 36 feet up off the ground. I never got in to, to pull in the cellular antennas, the FM antenna, and there's a TV antenna. I was going to cut it in half and mount some on each side of the house. Never did that. And at five feet, it's plenty rigid for that. Just never got around doing it. So I wanted to use that piece of pipe as a fallback because today you can't find one. It's hard to even find a five-foot mask. Now you find the J poles, the ones that kind of that look like a, a dish goes on them, but I couldn't really find the smaller ones. And so EMT is what I use. But EMT is meant to be bent as well as IMC and rigid. So I looked at those. The difference on a piece of inch and a half EMT, actually inch and a half conduit itself, is 1.97 inches, very close to two inches in diameter. It's the wall thickness that varies and the inside volume that changes. So uh, 60, 60 hundredths, I guess it is, or 60 thousandths, is the wall thickness on EMT. Rigid is 120 and the intermediate conduit is right there at 90 in between. But each one of them is made to be it's a little more malleable. So it's stiff enough to hold a, a, 
a light from Harbor Freight little, and its little solar panel that may weigh a half a pound or a pound or so. And there's not much wind resistance, it's not an issue. And so that's not a problem. And you've already seen it sitting at the road. Uh, camera and its charging panel are not very heavy either, but they might be subject to somebody running into them with their lawnmower or maybe a vandal reaching over there and just bending the pole off and it'll be solid at the bottom where it's in concrete hollow up top it may be damaged so i wanted to fill it with concrete but with an inch and a half uh you're really running about inch and a half by the time you stick my funnel in an inch and a half to inch and a quarter something like that and i was a little bit concerned if i could get the concrete down the pipe because i didn't want uh, two pieces through some freak accident locking themselves together halfway down the pipe and then creating a big hollow spot at the bottom. So I, I elected to use what we call no shrink grout. And uh, the only type that I could find locally without going to like a specially uh, masonry type store was at the big box store is good for, I think, is it say one inch minimum to like 24 inches, I think is what it said on the bag. I'll pull the bag up here in just a minute. We'll look at the instructions, but it says very hard. There's just no rock in it. So if you mix it up, any one of the three recommended water ratios, if you follow the recipe, it pours pretty well. So even something that's, you know, uh, three quarter of an inch is an awfully big funnel. So I looked to see if I could find me a funnel first. And for some strange reason, the big box stores didn't have the beautiful giant red funnel that they were advertising and i needed something with a big bell at top because if i climb up the ladder and pour this stuff i don't there's that's not a time to have it trying to set up and grout sets pretty quick as as concrete begins to do the same thing so there's just no time to fool around when you get it mixed up okay now the grout's about 20 bucks a bag 50 pound bag versus you know four or maybe five six dollars for a bag of concrete that would do it it's just a question was i was a little bit chicken about pouring concrete in that small of a pipe comment in the section if you've ever poured concrete in a piece of conduit that big i mean it's 10 foot vertical drop it should have worked but just a little skittish so i filled it with grout we'll get on to the mixing of it uh, right now All right, here is a quick snapshot of the bag. If you've never mixed no shrink grout, the idea is it is a very super strong uh, cementitious material. It just doesn't have any rocks and it's got other types of fill, so it pours very much like pancake batter. And it's not real hard. Fluid, which is, I get the least, the uh, or no, the, the most flowable, is a gallon plus a pint. Flowable, which uh pours pretty well but it's a little thicker it's more like waffle batter it's one gallon and troweling or plastic which is the where it slumps a little bit and you can kind of uh pack it in a little bit like a uh, slushy snow is the most stiff now the thing i was running against too is this temperature right here in tennessee we have um bipolar or weather and it will be 27 for a couple of days and then it will be up around 60 for a couple of days in the middle of winter so i wanted it to stay up warm enough uh, for it to set most of the way and it takes about three days to really begin to set 24 hours it gets most of its strength and then dries from there out and you need 30 minutes just beginning to try to set up on so it's really not hard to use you just got to get something to uh, pour get the right consistency quick enough stirred up quick enough up a ladder it poured into your funnel and go all right here we are day up we have most of a gallon of water here per the instruction we're going to go try flowable first before we go to liquid pourable and that's our what i'm going to call a lift bucket it's just a little smaller because that's going to be 50 pounds or so it's going to be a little heavy to do got a little mixer on the end of a drill and we have a grout right over there we're gonna mix it up next time you see us we'll be at the fence down there okay here we are I've got a full a full gallon of water in this if you get too much hydration it is weaker I do have a little bit here 
but I don't think I have so much that I exceed the pourable ratio. So we're going to run down there and pour it in the top. All right. Now, when I went to fit my funnel on the conduit, it didn't go down as far as I had remembered. So I ground the little barbs off of this. Before I mix it up, you want you want to make sure everything fits before you mix your grout up because it starts to get solid pretty quick and you need it to fall down and flow pretty well. Now, I didn't use all of that. I had done a calculation. And the calculation said it wouldn't take the full bag, but I used most of it. had plenty left over. And it did flow better when you hit the, the f whatever that last segment where you take an extra pint to the gallon for the full bag. Because I got it all mixed up nice and liquidy. And it took more than five minutes to get it all mixed up to my satisfaction. And it was already trying to set. So I poured, I poured it down there. One pole was a little bit tight going down and I ended up running a piece of a 10 foot segment of brace wire through through the pipe to make sure I didn't have air bubbles in there and it shouldn't have to do that and it worked out all right we'll have to see in about three or four days how stiff it gets